Okay, hey guys, welcome back. This is Jim again, and uh, we're going to go into the part two of this series. It's called uh, Video Capture Tools. And what I've done is I've loaded up a uh, demo or trial version of Pinnacle Studio Ultimate. And um, this uh, is just going to give us an example of what these kind of tools look like and how to use them. So um, what I'm going to do is walk you through it, and the way I got to this... Uh, Thing here was the tabber toolbar. Um, I'm, my computer's a little slower than it usually is actually because I'm using a laptop. I was having some technical problems with my PC, um, not accepting a Firewire port, but um, this laptop actually will do it just fine. So what I want to do is show you how to get there. Um, most programs, um, I've seen quite a few, and I'll show you another one in a second, but this one is uh, Pinnacle Studio Ultimate and the way to get video into it from those tapes or from your flip video camera is to click on the import button over here. And most programs will have a similar button and if they don't um, it's just located somewhere else. Um, but I believe even the free software Windows Live Movie Maker will also do that as well. I think I showed you that the other day. Um, however, okay, so I don't have any devices here. Doesn't see any de devices here. And what I'm gonna do is plug in my Firewire camera and just plugged it in. That's the camera that has the DV tapes that I showed you the other day. And once I do, you can see that it actually recognized it. Um, I plugged it in once before just to test to see if it worked, but um, now that I plugged it in, I can click on it and it's going to bring me um, the capture window and also give me full control of the video. So I'm just going to hit play here and this is actually going to play the tape from um, from the DV camcorder. This is old footage. This footage is probably 10 years old, maybe more. This is me and my dad rigging up in the sailboat. Um, not too exciting, but um, just something to show you the process of, of uh, capturing video. Um, you can import from all different types of devices. You can do it from a DVD if you have not a, not a movie DVD, but a DVD that you guys have maybe made before and exported to a DVD or um, something like that. But commercial DVDs always have copyright protection or mostly have copyright protection on them, so it's going to be hard to pull video off of those types of things. Um, and then there's other devices. Um, I'm not quite sure what all is included in there. Um, you can do stop motion um, capture, which is frame by frame capture. So if you wanted to do something like uh, Mr. Bill, I don't know how old you guys are, but uh, Mr. Bill, when I was growing up, was a stop motion uh, little Play-Doh animation on Saturday Night Live, and that's what I think of when I think of stop motion animation. Um, you know, there's quite a few other examples. That was probably my favorite. Um, or take a snapshot. So if I want to just take a still shot of this picture right here, I could do that. Um, you're always going to have a place that you want to save your videos. So we're going to take a look here. Um, it's going to save this to my default directory, which is users, gem, videos. Um, I actually normally would capture to an external hard drive just because um, that's kind of the setup that I have. But And we'll talk about that when we get to the storage and backup of your videos in the next tutorial. But um, anyway, just pick a good location that has plenty of room for you to capture the video to and it'll tell you exactly how much time you have um, to record the video it'll say like right here 17.8 gigs are available it'll take approximately an hour and 28 minutes of video um, the modes over here um, these are all presets and um, this is going to determine what kind of video you want to bring in and these are different file formats um, and different kind of kinds of compression um, I think if you just leave it on the standard DV and just leave most of the options alone, you're going to be just fine. Um, unless you want to do something particular, such as MPEG would be good if you wanted to export it to DVD later. Um, that would be a good format to use. Or you can create your own custom format. We're not going to get too much into that. That's a little bit beyond the scope of, of what we're doing here. But just I would say leave it to the whatever preset it gives you right off the bat. The next thing we want to talk about is scene detection. Now this is a really big feature because a lot of programs don't have this. This one in particular does. 
Um, and what that does is um, divide your video into different pieces. So um, you don't have one big, large hour and a half piece of video. You have smaller clips of video that that are a little easier to work with, and you don't have to go and start editing all those pieces. Um, you know, uh, cutting out the pieces um, that you want, it'll just do it for you. So scene detection is a really nice feature to have. Um, there's a couple different, the, the way that some of these programs work is that they do it after the fact. So um, if you have one big long video clip, you know, an hour's worth of videotape that has, you know, vacations and birthday parties and Christmases and all that kind of stuff on it, then it'll actually pull those scenes apart for you. Um, there are some options here um, to do it automatically um, based on the time and date, which is which is a pretty good way to do it because every time the time and date changes, you know that's where this camera was uh, started and stopped. Um, and that usually, well, will always be the, the beginning or the end of a scene. So um, anyway, you have a couple um, options here. Once again, I would just leave it for the time and date. That way we know that we can get the right stuff. And what happens when the tape ends? Um, stop at the tape. Sure. Uh, next thing we want to do is uh, select a file name. In this case, I'm just going to name it test because I'm not going to use this. I'm just doing this for a demo for you guys. Um, now, once again, these are the capture tools here. This is actually recording or, or gives me the ability to control my video camera right from here. So if I back this thing up and uh, I'm just going to hit the rewind button here and it'll rewind. I'm going to go back to um, just, we can either capture the whole tape or we can set what's called an end point and an out point or a start and end. And what I'm going to do is just show you that real quick. I'm going to hit a start point right here and that's going to say that, that's going to tell the software that this point right here is where I want the video to start recording. And then what I'll do is I'll play this a little bit and I'm actually going to zoom it forward maybe. Oops. Um, oh, something important to know. Um, stop will actually stop the tape. Um, if I wanted to just pause the tape, which is what I wanted to do there, you hit the play button because it takes a little bit of time to ramp back up and, and get the playheads back on the tape and start playing it. So right there, I'm going to just stop it um, and hit end. And what that's going to do is give me a start point and an end point and then tell me that this thing is only 32 seconds long. Once I'm happy with that, um, one more thing, I'm going to look at the audio and I'm not going to, I'm not going to really touch that. I believe this is just the monitor uh, output. So meaning um, if I increase this, it's going to, it's going to play it louder. If I just hit play right here or softer, if I would just hit play, it's not going to affect the recording or the capture process that we're about to get into. So once I have all these things set, I'm going to hit start capture. And what it's going to do is it's going to back up my tape to 3504.05 and start playing. And when it does, it's going to start to capture that. So right now we're recording. And you can see this little stop capture button if we need it. I know, pretty exciting video, guys. But... Um, you know, this will give you a good example of, of what it's going to be like. Normally, I would go ahead and capture the entire tape, but in the, you know, in the uh, interest of time and, and uh, boring you guys to tears with all my whole uh, video collection, uh, I'm just going to do this 32-second piece and uh, give you a good example. Okay, so there it did. It went from the start point to the end point, and looks like it's complete. So... Uh, if I hit close here, hopefully, oh, popped up when I started my video camera. Hopefully, it will load in there the video that we just captured into the edit window. So now we can take a look and start to play it back. Now this is this is a pretty slow uh, computer here comparatively to my other one, so it's going to be hard to see. But basically. Um, you know, it has recorded entire piece of the uh, clip that we just looked at, and now we can do whatever editing we want to with it. So, 